Hi, in this video we're going to have a quick look around the Faded Arcade NFT game. So first of all you'll obviously need a Faded Arcade NFT, here's some from their main site. I've actually already got one on my OpenSea account, here it is. Next thing you'll need to do is make sure that you've added that to your MetaMask wallet. I've already done that, I can see it here, and I've created a video to show you how to do that if you need to see how, and I'll link to that in the description below. Next, obviously make sure that you log into your MetaMask wallet, then we head over to Faded Arcade arcade.com and then you simply need to click on the enter arcade button at the top right here and it will take you over to the faded arcade nft game itself there is the option to switch off the music by clicking on this icon if you want to then all you need to do is choose which character you want to represent you within the game click on it and head on into the sunnydale faded arcade now if you notice right next to my character there's a little pink and green glowing thing that's actually a hoverboard I'm not going to jump on that yet because that will take me over to the right if we go to the left we can see here is someone to have a chat with they're saying welcome to Sunnyvale and if we go on up a bit further here's the door to the faded arcade itself so I can hit the up arrow key and it will take me into the arcade this is where I can then choose between the different games so let's simply click on the first one battle castle and have a quick look at how that works Okay, so this is Battle Castle. You can switch the sound on and off here. Let's click on play. Now I have had a brief play at this before, so I've got a vague idea of what I'm doing. Basically, we wanna stop the guys getting to the end, because if they get to the end, we lose all our lives. So I'm gonna go with lots of castles in early and hope that will stop them before they get to the end and give me some more money as I kill them off. Very simple, basic game to play, but it takes a little while to master, I think, and it is quite fun to play. All these games in the Faded Arcade are simple, but reasonable addictive and draw you into the game so that you're actually having quite a lot of fun. Now at the moment I am losing lives, people are getting to the end so this isn't great. I need to save up a bit of money and go for one of the bigger ones. Let's see if we can get 250 and go for one of the, the cannon towers or whatever this is. Let's put one of those down there and again this should help to stop those people getting to the end. Obviously the longer you play the game the quicker the people coming in get so the more easily they'll get to the end and the more money you're going to have to spend on the different towers and such like to kill them off before they get to the end. As I said, fairly simple game, easy to start playing, difficult to actually master, and each level you go through gets more and more difficult. Okay, so that was a quick look at Battle Castle. I'm going to look at a couple more, but I'm not going to run through all the games included, simply because I think that would kill some of the surprise. But let's try a couple more. Let's have a look at Block Blaster, and let's click or touch to play, and this is shooting things coming down and protecting our bases by the looks of it. So as things coming in, I just need to click and shoot at them as furiously as I can, and hopefully get the bonuses to oh that was a smart bomb so that made it a bit easier clear those out and keep going this is wave one you can see what your score is at the top look out for the bonuses shoot as much as you can pretty simple game but again quite addictive once you start playing it so that was wave one now we're on to wave two i'll leave it there and let's go on to a different game so next we'll check out galaxy raiders and the principle of this game is pretty simple you've got a little spaceship and you have to stop things getting past you because that will take your lives off you i remember playing something very similar to this many many years ago but i can't for the life of me remember what it was called so i'm just gonna zoom around shooting up the page killing things off as they appear. Try not to miss any. Really simple principle, but quite addictive, quite fun. Oh, lost life already, there we go. Bonus coming in, let's grab that. Smart bomb, yay. So you can see how simple this is. Again, as I said, there was an old game, something like this that I can't remember the name of, but you're probably familiar with what it was. And another life down. Well, let's leave that one there. Okay, next up, let's have a look at Goblin Wood. And again, let's press a key, choose a level, head on in. And this is a fairly simple jumping around, hitting things, kind of solving simple puzzles game. Let's move that along, but I don't want to lose it just yet let's get the bits up there you can see i've actually played this once before and let's move that down there because i'm going to need it in a moment so simple puzzles collecting coins collecting bonuses occasional killing of things we need to move that onto the platform to open the door oops let's not move it too far and there we go. So that's Goblin Wood level one. As you can see, there are quite a few levels to this and they get harder and harder each level. So it does get more fun and pushes yourself with your gaming as you go up the levels. So as I said, I'm not gonna run through them all, but we'll have a look at one more, which is Star Command, because this may look familiar to people who used to play a very similar game many, many years ago. Let's head on in. And this is zooming around, shooting at, asteroids of some sort <laughs> okay try not to zoom straight into them it's a long while since i played this game and passing aliens which i totally missed where's the asteroid coming back let's 
try not to let it kill us this time. Lots of little rocks. Let's zoom around a little bit. And simple principle, shoot the rocks, grab the bonuses if you can, drive around and grab the rapid fire. It certainly helps a bit. You've got two lives left at the moment, so I'm doing okay. Score in the top left, and yeah, just keep going until you see how far you can get. Wave two incoming. Let's leave that one there as well. I do need to practice these a bit more. Okay, so that's the core of the faded arcade NFT. You get access to these 10 retro arcade, very fun, old style games that you might recognize and feel familiar to other games you've played in the past. If you haven't seen any of these before, maybe you're a younger generation, have a go at them because they're a lot of fun. But that's not all there is to the faded arcade NFT. Let's return to Sunnyvale itself. It's actually well worth having a wander around in Sunnyvale and talking to other characters and seeing if you can find any Easter eggs and other games to play. For instance, here, if you hit the up arrow key, that's going to take you into a Pong game. So you can play Pong. It's been a while since I've played that. It is quite fun. Across here, there's a young lady we can chat to. And if we have a little bit of walking backwards and forwards, she'll say they're building another arcade. She'll say it gets weird here at night. It is nighttime mode that I'm in at the moment because it is the night. The mode for the game does change based on your local time, but there is a way, if you look around, to find to change it from nighttime mode to daytime mode as well. And she says, see that pass card over there? That can be useful. So let's grab that pass card. We can also see that there's under construction another arcade going to be popping up up over there at some point but let's head on back we've got that pass now what is it useful for she's also saying something about her pussycat as well so maybe we should keep an eye out for a pussycat let's head back over here remember you can jump up and down on things as well look for the different things that you can do different doorways this is the arcade one that we went in but there are other shops that we can go into now if you want to use the hoverboard for speeding up getting around places we can use the down arrow key to get on the hoverboard and the up arrow key to get off it so let's get back on it and then let's use that to zoom along now there's another doorway here there's a t-shirt and merch store so we can go in there by getting off the hoverboard and going in through the door and have a look around so this is the faded arcade store feel free to have a nose around that I'm actually going to come back into Sunnyvale and I'm going to jump back on the hoverboard and zoom off a bit further in now again there's more things we can look at here there's another place we can go into there and if we zoom on a bit further we'll jump off the hoverboard because we can then go down the stairs or down the ladder and there is an option to go downstairs in the ladder here here. This takes us into a secret lair. Now you can only get in that if you have that pass. So make sure you collect that pass. Now I'm not going to show you too much in here. I want you to investigate this and have a play around. But there are more games that you can play in here and more hidden Easter eggs that you have access to. Let's go back up to the top. Okay, so let's head on across. This lady here, if you go and talk to her, she will give you a clue about where you can find another Easter egg clue. But let's head on across. There is another Easter egg hidden up there, which we've just passed. This is also something you can interact with. This box of tools allows you to change from day to night. So you can actually change the mode. Let's say we want to be in day mode instead of night. Change the sound to on or off. And then let's go back to night rather than auto or day. So you can fiddle with that and change if you want to. But let's head on up the stairs and just click on the screen anywhere to get rid of the day night options let's bounce up and down get across to here this is an old playstation this is another easter egg and we'll give you some more information about other clues and other easter eggs there is so much tucked away and hidden in this game this is not your run-of-the-mill nft it's a lot of fun there's a lot of things to be dug out and discovered in it so i highly recommend if you haven't grabbed one yet grab a faded arcade nft now get into sunnyvale have a look around, try out the games and have some fun. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. And thanks very much for watching.